Hi everyone, this is Terry, and this is part two of text, and we're talking about the text tool using the first icon under the text tool that uh, is called text. I encourage you to watch part one of the video, which covers several things on the attributes. In this video, we'll, we will be talking about the transformation tools. Let me clear the screen and choose text and I'll type PE design and under the attributes I want to select the transform tool and with the transform tool you have several envelopes that are built in to the machine that allow you to create a unique look for your design and uh, because they are built into the machine you can quickly uh, choose an envelope where if you want the text above or below a design you can set it up very very quickly let's look at the first option and let's talk about the icons. The green icons allow you to move the text on whenever you have an envelope in a radius of a circle around the circle and all you have to do is move, move it around by clicking your left mouse button. You can also increase the size of the text by pulling the arrows up as you can see it or moving them down and lastly you can change the size of the radius of the circle by moving out or moving in now let's talk about an application for this particular um, envelope because you see it quite often in in uh, designs that have been embroidered let me choose new and I'll choose text and I want to type my name and I want to select it and let's just make it a little bit larger and let's increase the radius of this circle and I'll center it in the middle of the screen and now I'll go to import and I'll import a design And now I'll move this to the center of the screen. And this gives you an idea how you can quickly use the transformation tools along with an embroidery design to create a unique look. Now what if you wanted to add text to the bottom of this? You can do that as well. So let's choose text. And we'll choose the transformation tool and we'll just type my last name I'll select it again and if you can't select it what you can do is find that text either in your objects or it might be easier for me if I click on it and now I have it selected well, the first thing I want to do is to make it a little bit larger and the second thing I want to do is to move it so that it's curved somewhat similar to the, the one above it and that's too large so let me 
There, we'll leave it like that. Now let's select all of the designs. And I can move it around on the screen to, to get it more to my liking. Let's click on it. And let's just slide it over and down. This is less than perfect, but it gives you an idea of how you can use those particular envelopes. Okay, let me clear the screen by selecting a new page. I'm not going to save it. And let's choose text again. And let's just uh, create a text for this. Say this is for a team in sports. <clears throat> and on this one, let's choose the pennant. And this is where you can create something very unique by dragging the handles and create, creating something like a pennant. With this type of envelope, you can decrease it or you can increase it. But if you increase it too much, you'll lose the angle that you see here. You can see that there are other samples that you can try out that are in the transformation tool. But one of them that I want to show you, let's type my first name and let's choose this one. And I can pull, stretch it up at the top, and I'll move it down. And now you see that I've created a, a very unique look using the transform tools in PE Design. I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you.